I'm Angie Morgan. I'm Andrew's mother, and we're here to tell, talk to you about our experience with Enchroma lenses today. Um, Andrew didn't know his colors because he's never seen these colors, so um, he's been sitting out in the driveway with his best friend, looking at sunrises and sunsets, and um, asking all kinds of questions. And as a mother, I'm just thrilled to, to be, be able to share our experience with you. What do you think's been the best, Andrew? Uh, besides, you know, just seeing colors, uh, that's it, really. <laughs> that's what they're for. Uh, I would say that probably my favorite thing is probably seeing pinks and purples. That just being able to actually see what they look like is is crazy. I, I never knew those colors existed. You know, they were right there the whole time, but never knew they were there. Yeah. Well, I was a little bit skeptical when I saw the Enchroma advertisements, the testimonies and stuff. So we actually took about an eight-hour out-of-state trip to get his first pair of Enchromas just so I could experience and, and see if they were really going to work because that was a lot of money out of our pocket. And I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to get ripped off. So initially, you know, you see these kids that get the glasses and they're in tears and they go to their knees and stuff. But Andrew's reaction was completely opposite of that. He was very quiet, very reserved. Um, I kept assuring him that we didn't make the eight-hour trip for nothing. Um, it was only until we pulled back up to the eye retailer that um, he started questioning me about colors. And I guess the most convincing thing was when he asked me what color the sign was at the, at the eye doctor. And it was a, what I would call an elderberry wine color. And Andrew told me that without his glasses, that sign was obviously white and gray. And so I was very convinced at that point that the glasses were going to work for him. And then we started doing color quizzes. Andrew's never seen those colors before, so he didn't know what to call them. So a blue and a purple to him were the same color. Um, about two weeks later, after he got his first pair of glasses, uh, I had a very flowery uh, eyeglass case in the, in the car. And he just kept looking at it and smiling and asking me what colors. Uh, he was seeing pinks and purples for the first time, and he could tell the difference between, you know, grays and whites. Um, I knew the red and, and green, obviously, and we were concerned about his driving with, at uh, stop signs or stop lights. And that was another concern of ours that he'd be able to see, but that really convinced me. Um, it was definitely worth, worth the trip. We got him the, um, the middle kind of glasses, which are for inside and outside, and he wears them all the time. Um, so obviously they're a little bit too dark, so we looked again, we were ready to make another eight hour trip out of state. Um, we're very pleasantly delighted that we could just drive an hour and uh, we've been treated so well here. Um, ironically, the day that we were coming over here, uh, it was very foggy and it's winter and um, Andrew said, it doesn't matter what, if I have my Enchromas on today or not. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, it looks the same today with, with or without them. I almost cried as a parent because it was depressing. Um, the road was black, fish gray, the, the grass on the median and on the sides was brown and it was white. And he said, this is what I see every day, Mom, without my glasses. And, you know, I just about cried. And so as a parent, you know, if I could win the lottery and give every, uh, everybody that can't see colors, whether they're 8 or 60, I, I would buy them because I'm just so... Happy and joyed that my child of 22 can see these colors. Um, I'm a big advocate. You're not going to get ripped off. And this is, the, you know, this uh, eye center is the best place that we could have chosen from. So very appreciative.